Hi everyone, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. I ran OT underscore room. We did a sea turtle recently and now I'm going to show you how to make a puffer fish. So for this puffer fish, we're going to need some black instruction paper, yellow and white. You really can use any color paper that you want if you want it to be blue so it looks like the ocean, that's perfectly fine. And same for the fins. We are also going to need any sort of paint that you want, any color. I used yellow and white and that's what I'm going to show you today. We will also need a bowl. So my bowl has little different pricklies on it, like little sensory balls. You can use that. There's some have more prickly, some have bigger circles on them. Any sort of ball that you have, because this is what we're going to use to paint the dots all over to make our puffer fish. So I will see you soon so we can get ready. So I have my black paper here, my paper plate, just so I can start putting some paint. This is the paint I'm using. But whatever washable paint you have at home is even better than what I'm using. So I'm just going to take a little bit and squirt a little bit on my plate. Squirt a little yellow. I am almost out of white, so I'm going to use a little bit of orange too. See if I can get any out. Try to open it up. There we go. Here comes some white. And then I'm also going to add some orange to my plate. You can use whatever colors you have at home or use any of your favorite colors that you want. It's your creation. This is the perfect chance to get creative. And then I also have my ball. This is the one I'm going to be using. Here's an up close picture of it. I've used it already as you can tell. And I have my black instruction paper. So all we need to do is we're just going to dip our pricklies right into the paint. You can move it all around and try to hold the ball right at the top in the same spot so you don't end up with paint. So here's it dipped in paint and what we're gonna do is just dab all around our paper. You want to try to make the dabs in a circular motion to make a circle puffer fish but if you make it a different shape that's perfectly fine too. So just get more paint and then more dabs and you're just going to keep doing this a few times around in different colors or only one color until the circles look relatively filled as well as are in a large shape. This is a fun alternative to painting instead of just painting with a paintbrush or a lot of times I always recommend using q-tips. So this is a fun alternative that we get to use a bowl as a stamper. Okay, so now I'm finished with my bowl and making my stamps. I'm going to set my paper aside to dry and we can start working on the eyes and the so fins. For my fins, I'm going to use yellow paper and then my eyes and face, I'm going to use red. You can draw on any color paper you like and if you don't want to use construction paper and work on cutting out with scissors, then you can just simply let the paint dry and you can use your own markers or crayons to draw your own face. So for our fins, we're going to start by making a line across. We can even make two lines across for two fins. And then we're going to go up and around, kind of like we're making a half circle, the letter U. Or what I like to tell my students is make a rainbow. So we're going to go up and around. We go up and around and finish that rainbow. And then we're going to go down here and just make three little diagonal lines. And these are going to be our fins for our puffer fish. So we can cut this out. When you're using scissors, you want to make sure you're using a thumb up position and keep our arm close to our body. Our thumb always goes in the smaller hole and faces up and we're using our helper hand to hold the paper. And we're just going to cut out our fins of our fish. Okay. 
rotate the paper. And we're still just snipping along the lines. So we have our two fins. So now we're all done with the yellow paper that I can move along to my white paper. So you can do a happy face and the eyes, or you can just only do eyes. So eyes are a perfect chance to work on making circles. So what I always tell my students is circles go around and stop. Circles go around and stop. So that's some cueing that I like to use to help when they're learning how to make circles. Then we can make smaller circles inside our eyes. So again, circles go around and stop. And then we're just gonna practice our color skills and work on coloring in that circle. You can make any sort of face that you want. If you wanna just do shading along the bottom, if you wanna make one eye over here, one eye over here to look silly, that's perfectly um, whatever your preference is. Or you can make one eye big, one eye small, however you want to make your fish. It's the perfect chance to be creative. Now, similar to the, the fin that we made, we're gonna be making a line across and then the letter U for the mouth. You can also try to add teeth, you can add a tongue, but for mine, I'm just gonna draw my line across. And then now I'm making a big rainbow or the big letter U. And then you can either leave it white, you can color it in all black, or like I just said, add some teeth, add a tongue, whatever your preference is. And then we're just gonna go ahead and cut these right out as well. So in learning to use scissors, it might also be beneficial to cut away the extra paper just to make the paper a little bit smaller and easier to manipulate when you're trying to rotate the paper and use the scissors without the extra paper getting in the way. So the mouth is done and now I just have two eyes left to cut. So once the paint is all dry, we can go ahead and start gluing on our body parts so we can get started on that. So we can just take our glue, we're going to put some glue right along the back. What I like to tell my students is no gooey, gu excuse me, no gooey louis. So we don't want to have any big globs of glue all over our paper that would just get in the way. So I'm going to put mine on the sides and stick them, or you can pat, 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 and then do the same for the other side. Like I mentioned before, you can either use regular glue or a glue stick. So we have our two fins, and then our eyes and mouth, you can either put right in the middle, right next to each other, or you could put your two eyes up top and the mouth at the bottom. It's however you would like to make it. It's the best chance to get creative because it's your project and your artwork. Mine just fell right there, so that's where our eye wants to go. Now I'm gonna add my other eye. Having some trouble with my glue, so I'm using two hands and a big squeeze, and we'll rub it all around. Then we can stick on our other eye right next to it. And then my big happy face mouth can go somewhere in the middle along the bottom. Perfect. 
So this is what mine came out like. We have two different puffer fish options. Let me get a better view for you. We have one like this and one like this. So it's however you want to make it is how I would love to see there how they come out. So you can comment below and post any pictures of them that you want to share with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video.